It is the Riot Podcast. Today is Tuesday, July uh, 12th. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Happy uh, Amazon Prime Day, part <sighs> one. Still, I spent some time still trying to go through. You and perused. I didn't find anything yet. Just browsing. Yeah. What if Amazon had like a little chat thing that popped up and it's like, can I help you find anything? Actually, that'd be nice. You think? Well, I don't want an Amazon item, though. Like, I don't need an Alexa device. Uh-huh. I don't need a Fire tablet. Oh, you're out of luck then. I yeah. don't need a Kindle. I don't want an but Amazon TV. Do you need supplements? Because <laughs> they have those. I, I mean, saw they had those. By the end of the day, I might order a few vitamins and some shampoo. And I just think that's to feel it. like you're a part of the deal. That's all. That I'm way doing. I can know I like say I feel like I saved some money. Like yeah. on, the, on th- or Thursday or Friday, I'll be like, oh, I missed out. Yeah. If I have something, then I'll feel like that I, I definitely saved a couple bucks. But yeah, we talked about uh, Amazon Prime Day. We also talked about how it's free Subway Day. Are you taking part in free Subway Day? I might go. I don't know for sure. How what do would I... you order at Subway? I am you don't like vegetables, things. and almost all of the sandwiches had vegetables. Well, you can make it however you want. That's the good thing about Subway. <laughs> no, they don't want you to do that now. Uh, they want well, you to come in bad. and say, I want the Mexicali, and that'll be it. See, I would get End of transaction. M- my old go-to is the meatball marinara. Yeah. Okay, so have you ever heard of, um, like, when you were younger, this was a TikTok big, like, trend not too long ago and they said do you did you have an order when you were younger from subway that you had all the time yeah the meatball marinara okay so they were saying how that was a sign that you were probably slightly depressed what? when you were younger and that you had some things you were because i had one too like you just went there and you had a a period of time where you ate subway like constantly uh-huh. and during enough that, to have a regular order yes and have a regular order and so they were just bringing up the fact that if you remember your regular order and you had that period of time, mm. you were most likely depressed. <laughs> no way. That period of time. Is that right? That was middle school for me. <laughs> I, know. I went there like every day in seventh and eighth grade. I went there every single day after school. Almost. And you had your order. I got a meatball marinara every single day. Well, you With almost have... nothing on it, just like the meatballs and cheese, and that was it. Well, you what might else have would been you get slightly sad during that time. Maybe I was a little was sad. A I don't really remember. You? I don't remember that that well. Because well, you've uh, repressed those memories. Yeah, I got the meatball out. marinara. Every uh-huh. single day. Yeah. If you that's go, the only that's the only thing you remember about that time because that's the only thing that made you happy. If yep. you go today and you order it and you start crying, I just want to know. know. Why. All of a sudden, all the painful memories of middle school come flooding. I'm like, back. wait a minute. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I always did the. I always like the veggie sub with extra oil and vinegar. And there was a time when it was like almost every day you would just go and have that, mm-hmm. and that was a sign that you were mm. emotionally going through. What stuff. was that time frame for you? It was a depressing time. <laughs> she was like uh, between the ages. Of six and it's twenty. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's a very long window. It's sad, all right. Dang. So that was just something you got your bag of chips. That was that was what you ordered. <laughs> yeah, I, I would either do that, and then recently I've moved into doing like the steak and cheese a little bit. I'll do that as well with like just the steak and cheese. Yeah. Still, did you get uh, cookies? I did get not anymore, but I did get cookies all and See, during, that's what subway during that time period I did get cookies. That's yeah. where even I can't deny the subway <laughs> that uh, if you do go, you gotta get one of the macadamia nuts. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, sure. the cookies are so good. That uh-huh. was like I would get a, a six inch sub and a cookie. And I guess that's what made me happy. That made you that means if you got two cookies you were extra, extra depressed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we also talked about uh some moldy bread. We went over some of the Speaking uh, of Subway, moldy yeah. bread. Moldy bread followed right <laughs> up. Isn't that a good segue? Uh, whether or not, essentially, you're able to just save a loaf of bread when it starts to go bad or not. I didn't think to ask this uh, when we were talking about it, but then I said, have you ever cut out the mold off of a piece of bread and still tried to save it? And Which I said, have. Yes. I have done that before. I've, I've so, it. is it, uh, like, what is it inside you that makes you want to do that? Well, when I'm running low and I want bread, yeah. I'll just make it work. Why can't you make it? What? Why can't the making it work be not using bread? See, I just there's certain things you have to have bread with. Yesterday, if I, if it would have been manageable, I would have pulled the mold off of that bread. But That's it was how you not know manageable. The, the bread must have been real bad. The bread I didn't was actually bad. see it firsthand. <laughs> the bread was bad yesterday, or I would have tried to salvage it, and I couldn't do it. So you threw you threw it away. I threw away like four pieces of bread. It was pretty. Aww. It was pretty disappointing. I hate it wasting was bread. Sad. That was sad. 
it was the cheapest bread that they make, but it was still sad to <laughs> yeah, see it. Yeah, it was. Get it was. And then also today, yesterday technically, but it's not it's not done yet. But yesterday, the, the milk in my fridge expired, too. Uh-uh. No. So I'm going through it right now. Dude, it's tough times. Can I get you that sub? But, yes, that'd be okay. incredible. That's what okay. happens. I'll take a six-inch sub. <laughs> when, you, when you go on vacation During for several times. days, yep. all of a sudden, all your groceries expire while you're gone. I mean... <laughs> Okay, never mind. We'll move on. <laughs> Make sure you text and say hi. 877-2-RADIO-U, and we'll be happy to include you in the show tomorrow. And thank you so much for listening to the podcast today. That'll do. Bye. See you guys. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. This uh, Hudson that Isaiah just flings his blanket off. <laughs> it's time to talk. <laughs> my I, so, I know, I know the camera's that. on me, so I uh, have to get the blanket off of my neck. Oh, well, that'd be just, embarrassing for people to see you with the blanket on. I don't want to look too cozy, all right? <laughs> <laughs> it just seems like um, you're embarrassed of it. And the blanket uh, talked to us earlier and said, hey, could you... Um, not just throw it around like that. I've got it wrapped around my legs because my legs are ice cold in here. And I have a long sleeve up top. So my top isn't that cold. But when I'm like trying to get cozy off the air, I have the thing wrapped around my entire body. <laughs> just don't be embarrassed about it. I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> I'll bring it up here. I mean, it's not like I'm hiding it. Everybody knows I have it in here. It's yes. 45 degrees in here. You would too. Hey, it is 71 degrees. I don't believe a word it says. No, We've been over it. I don't believe lie. it. I don't believe what it says. It is the middle of July. <laughs> and he still needs a blanket, and I'm not even shaming sleeve. at this point. I'm past shaming it because I, I'm I'm jealous of it. <laughs> he it's it's justifiable in this in this temperature, well, in this climate, in this studio. If you scoot it over, maybe you can share the blanket at least. <laughs> Is or when it big he, enough to share? When he throws it on the ground or throws it down, you could just take. <laughs> you can it use in. the top half of it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I just think like, every time I look over, I'm like, "What? Well, oh, there goes the blanket." <laughs> He always shifts it just down under the desk. Uh, so did you guys see the new, uh, the new Yeezys? Is there a new set of shoes? There's always a new set of shoes. But uh, the new Yeezys are, they're really something. The 450 Sulfurs. You got to take a look at the picture of I'm these. I'm sorry, what are they called? 450 Sulfur. Sulfur, okay. The, yeah. Catchy uh, name. Uh-huh. So these are the ones that were released back in May. Look at the uh, Look at the picture of that. How how are we feeling about that? Um, for the shoe itself, boy, on the whole article, I'm having a hard time. Oh, I need to accept yeah, the cookies. Well, you got to <laughs> click on it. Just click on the tweet. Just click on the tweet. Yeah, they because uh, you know Yeezy tweeted out that uh, they just tweeted out a picture said, "How do you feel about it? How do you guys feel about it?" I'm not much of a fan. Why not? Well, first of all, I also typed in new Yeezys and new Yeezys yeah, I know, into a Google. Million things came up, right? And it was uh, two hundred fifty five dollars for a pair. So that alone. Is a little bit much for me, and uh-huh. for them to look like that, they look like a thing of bread. That's what I I'm know they look from. delicious, or don't like they? Like butter, or um, <laughs> yeah, they do like butter. That's a yeah, good one too. The like butter. butter, or it looks like if you ever go to a place and they make you put those booties on over your shoes, yep. <laughs> it looks like the booties. <laughs> they look ridiculous. They look so silly. I could never, I could never be seen dead wearing those. But it depends on like, do you buy? Would you buy these to? put them on display or would you buy them to wear them because sometimes with shoes you're I'd, not buying them to actually wear them oh i'd buy them to eat them <laughs> don't they look good are the times that tough <laughs> no they just look they look like a delicious confection of some kind uh, people are saying it looks like pasta it does it looks like i don't know what the kind of pasta is but those ones that that curl up and almost look like a slug or something. I think it's also the color of them. It's like that real light, like Uh, yellow. That's that and that's why. That's that's what really makes you know what they look like the most is pot stickers. Yeah. Don't they look like pot stickers? Which actually to be quite frank, I'm not as big a fan of pot stickers, but uh still if the, if I got those steamed, I think I'd be doing all right. Sometimes these shoes are not um they're not to everybody's taste, literally. <laughs> <laughs> but well done. it just well depends done. on uh, if you like that style or not. I wonder who who was behind the the design of these and what they just uh they you know, they were on a deadline yeah. and they they just uh they didn't know what to do. They panicked. And so they <laughs> throw uh, Hey, uh, Johnson, you got those new sulfur designs in for us and he just uh copy and paste a picture of uh, steam dumplings onto <laughs> into the dock. Yeah, yeah they, look at the check these out. I don't know. They might need something worked out, but I think they look good. They don't care though. It'll no. still sell. Oh, it um, my favorite has. is so many of these people must be British cuz they they call them a pasty. It's like a, a pa- Is that what it is? It's like a um not a dumpling, but um 
I don't know, like a calzone sort of thing. Yeah. Here. Ooh. Um, and so that's what those are. Sounds delicious. They also uh, like a pierogi. Yeah, that's Any true. kind of folded over dough. <laughs> Which, These shoes look like. Yeah, which is, uh, you know what? You can't go wrong with that. And Anything with folded over dough, I'm in. Did you say, Isaiah, they're 200 or? $255 is what they're listed on Amazon for. That, that's, uh, they better be filled with a, a lot Someone's of meat. Someone's birthday's Thursday. <laughs> and this, if I'm, if you're going to spend this much money on me, I don't want you to spend it on this. Please buy me something <laughs> just, else. Please you just let me have the Surprise cash. me with something else. <laughs> you won't hear a show like this anywhere else. And that's probably for the best. The worst of the riot. Radio U. Happy Amazon Prime Day. Oh, yay. It's a holiday. You know, it really does feel like it's uh, the holiday season. Like (laughs) between Christmas and July and Amazon Prime Day. This is like. uh, And. What? Come on. What else is this week? Isaiah's birthday. And my birthday. (laughs) So you have no excuse because you have Amazon Prime Day today and tomorrow. And then it's your birthday. To find me a gift. Uh, I think they picked the two perfect days to lead into that. That's right. I think that they must have done that intentionally. So what's on your Amazon wish list that you don't have to buy yourself today because you'll probably get it for your birthday. See, I don't know. You don't know? I've been scrolling through Amazon on like their Prime Day website or whatever. Uh And just it's the same thing as when I always go on Amazon. Unless I'm looking for something very specific, when I'm just like shopping on there, I never find anything that really like peaks my fancy enough to actually just like on and when buy it. it I feel like you have a lot of, of self control. Like we just don't have any items that we're probably looking for. So you're having to I started going back through my already purchased items. Uh-huh. I was like, oh, is there anything I should repurchase that I've been waiting <laughs> oh, on? Gosh. And outside of that, I, I can't find anything. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm looking at the uh, front page of the deals right now. They've, Unless you want an Alexa device, there's yeah. really not a lot. They've got that. They've got <laughs> right now they're showing me uh, Infamil prenatal vitamins. <laughs> it's got over 10 essential nutrients. Does it have the vitamin D for Isaiah? I don't know. Yeah, I figure don't be thrown by the prenatal title. Anybody can take it. It's not like it's going to make you a, a mom or anything. So <laughs> yeah, you come in and Isaiah is just more mommy like. <laughs> More feminine. That's what you mean. Uh, no, I don't even mean that. I mean like c- compassionate and caring. Actually, that sounds wonderful. Empathetic, yeah. supportive. I don't know if I need it. I think that would like, really Hudson's help. Hudson's the mean, rough dad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to take any vitamins to accomplish that. You don't need. That. I do not. What, what else do they have? They've got. Uh, Has anybody found anything good yet for Amazon Prime Days? They really do have like a lot of supplements and stuff. What do they think is wrong with us? Why do we need all this stuff? Well, maybe they assume we won't buy it unless it's deeply discounted. <laughs> <laughs> any of you guys ever try uh, C4? Is that a, uh, like a pre-workout? It? Not the explosives. It's like a pre-workout. You ever tried it? I've tried it before, yes. There's a great deal on it right now. Oh, really? It uh, looks like uh, $19.59 for what appears to be 12 12 what? 12 of them. Oh, 12. Okay. <laughs> 12. They're singles. <laughs> They're, you can buy them in powder form or in like single use okay. as well. That makes more sense. I'm like, what unit of measurement is 12? Like, tw- what is that? What? It's well, it's well, oh, 12 Skittles cups? flavor. Skittles flavor C4, 12 16 ounce cans, 1959. What do you I, say? You know, it sounds like you're more interested than it us. Feels like, it feels like Christmas, doesn't it? feels it? like a fit, doesn't it? Feels it feels like Black Friday. All of a sudden, all these deals to entice you. How could you How could you scroll through Amazon and not find something to buy right now? Actually, it's quite With easy. With the deep, deep discounts like that. You know, Actually, I think I will probably buy something in the next two days off Amazon. I'm, I'm pretty sure I will. It'll be at least one thing, because I'll scroll through the next two days, and there'll be something that I'll find. I'm going to get back to my wish list, because I have some wish lists on there. That's a good idea. I'm mm-hmm. sure there's something on one of my wish lists that I will buy. Yeah, but you're going to buy it, and then it's gonna and it's on your wish list, so somebody's going to get it for you for your birthday. Nobody's um, getting me anything for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, we're not offering that, remember? <laughs> oh, well, I mean, we're already taking you out to lunch. We're getting yeah, you breakfast. Exactly. That's you want. That's not on your Amazon list, but you'll get that on Thursday. Actually, what tends to be the hardest thing is you won't need anything until like 
Thursday or Friday, and then everything goes right. back up. Then you'll so. realize all of the things that you could have had on Amazon Prime Days that you well, it's fun out. to definitely look up the hashtag for Prime Day because a lot of people like to find the quirky, unique items that get on sale uh-huh. for really good prices. Um, so if you see anything good, let us know. I, uh, I, if anything, today is a good day to use up an Amazon gift card you've been sitting on. Mm-hmm. You get oh, more, that's a good idea too. Much more bang for your buck find something you weren't using it anyways you might as well buy some stuff you're not going to use at a deeply discounted rate love it when it works out that way (laughs) this is radio U's worst of the riot and nikki this might be uh one of the least polite things i've ever said as a canadian Uh uh-oh but let me get uh, your off button no (laughs) (laughs) no but what i what i need to say is you need to stop trashing my world Okay. You need to stop coming into my country yeah. with your cruise ships yeah. and dumping <laughs> your uh, your waste all up in my uh, country. So U.S. cruises uh-huh. are going into Canada uh-huh. and dumping yeah. a cruise ship's waste. They're dumping all of it. Into the Canadian waters? Uh-huh. You're using Canada as your own personal toilet bowl, Nikki. No, uh, And I'm not, I've I not will not abide. I've been on abide. a cruise. So You've never been on a cruise? I, well, like, I don't count, like, a sunset cruise. Uh-huh. Like, a catamaran beach thing. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah. I'm talking, I haven't been on these big boat cruises. But you're an American, so you are guilty by You're barely proxy. Canadian. What do you mean? <laughs> That is the most offensive thing you've ever said whatever, to me. Whatever, whatever. You're really making me, if I was not Canadian, how would I be holding back from insulting you right Hang now? Hang on, let me get my boat. Let's go on up <laughs> yeah, there. We need to <laughs> put a stop to all of these American cruise ships. You have a, you have a unique influence as an American over the country. And I think you need to step up and uh, say to these cruise ships, hey, Canada's not our personal toilet bowl just because they're too polite to say anything doesn't mean we can keep dumping our gray water and our uh, toilet runoff and our bilge water all up in the Canadian Ocean. So basically, let's blame the cruises to Alaska, which is what I would totally love to go do. Yeah, that but now you're not cruise. allowed. Yes, I can. You cannot do it. And they say it's one of the most booked U.S. holidays. I've never booked that. I want to book it. <laughs> I don't even book vacations like this. <laughs> Who does this stuff? Uh, but they say that, you know, you're, you're sailing along Canada's coastline mm-hmm. for two or three days, and it's leaving behind a trail of toxic waste uh, in the usually a marine per, uh, protected area mm-hmm. and so now they're really trying to exactly. go after cruise ships. Think about this, Nikki. You wanted to be a marine biologist. I did. And think about when uh, fine, you don't care about the Canadian people, that's fine. But what about all the Canadian wildlife? What about all the marine biology that you're harming with your American cruise ships coming up with all of these uh, flushing your toilets into our oceans? They say that the water is being treated like a toilet bowl and they're using it like a highway and tossing stuff left and right. Exactly. Uh, And forget forget for the time that uh, I threw a Wawa sandwich out of my window (laughs) on an actual highway in the United States. In America! That was payback. That was my payback. I Told for you. what you guys are doing to our oceans. I told you don't litter here. Uh, I don't, this is, uh, it's creating it. You know, we, we usually coexist peacefully. Uh, and again, I, I chalk that up to our Canadian, uh, our, the, the, our persona, the way we are. Where we are able to let, you know, we just let stuff roll off of our back. You yeah, insult let the us, toxic you treat stuff roll off your back. Exactly. You we have should, no problem. But uh, I don't know how much more we can take. Uh, look at this. It says that some of this stuff is being dumped up to uh, three miles, three nautical miles away from shore. How are you going to go to a beach when, uh, when some of this wastewater from your American cruise ships? Is uh is being dumped off three mi- three nautical miles from the beach, and uh, I mean you think that stuff doesn't travel? The waves are going to carry it right in, and Listen, all of a sudden I, you're swimming. All of a sudden you're going to a Canadian beach. You're swimming in American poop. I know. Well, that that's beautiful, isn't it? That's bringing everybody together. <laughs> I, uh, My favorite is this guy's holding a sign. He's protesting. Uh-huh. He says poop is for emojis, not the ocean. Mm, I wonder how long he spent on that. <laughs> Hashtag no dumping, and it looked like he used a marker. <laughs> He drew that himself. (laughs) To color it all in. Well done. No, that's not good. You don't want to. But, I mean, if you 
um, weren't aware, cruise ships, they all do this, uh-huh. and it's all pretty bad. Yeah. They uh, don't just wait till they're at land and put it in a bigger toilet and yeah, flush it that right. way. <laughs> Somebody needs dump, to come up with that idea. They dump it all in all the water. All I'm saying is just uh, keep your pollution to your own beaches, mm. in your own wildlife in the ocean. How about right. that? How about that? Well, I and will us Canadians will down. pollute our own oceans as well. <laughs> Find more Riot content online. Riot.radiou.com You know what today is? Well, it's the Amazon Prime Day. It's Amazon Prime Day, but it's, that's not the only place you can find a great deal. It's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and with this Tuesday, it is a special day at Subway. So Subway at least for, announced uh, a few hours. A few uh, weeks ago that they were revamping their menu again. They say the biggest menu change in nearly 60 years. Oh, I bet you that's why they're doing it today. They're yeah. doing 12 signature subs and it's the 12th. Oh, that makes sense. Probably why. I don't know. I, they say it's the biggest menu change in nearly 60 years. I, it looks just like the regular sandwiches they've been serving. But you're not I don't supposed know to what's notice different, Except that. there's no tuna on the list. You're not supposed to notice Which there wasn't any actual tuna on the list anyways. But uh, yeah, no, the sandwiches look very sim- I mean, the biggest menu change in years. They've had a meatball sub this whole time, haven't they? I think they're just kind of trying to change up how people go into Subway. Mm -hmm. And eventually it looks like it'll one day morph away from you going through that line and doing all that. Instead, you just walk up and you're like, I'll take the outlaw or I'll take Uh, the meatball. And you're supposed to know these by name and kind of go with what the setup is. mm -hmm. And then maybe have a few tweaks here and there, but not like building your own. Yeah. So if you want to do today uh, an early lunch, if you can get in before noon local time, they've got uh, between 10 a.m. and noon local time for each subway location. Oh, well, participating locations. Uh, They are giving away, what, one six-inch, one free six-inch sub per uh, per customer? Yes, that is what's being offered. Um, You're going to get one? I, I don't know. I don't know. The last time. I mean, it's times, a free sandwich. I know. And the one near us is like a gas station slash subway. Uh-huh. Yeah. Maybe that's why. But they just always have a, a tiny bit of an attitude there. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I feel like, you know, it stresses employees out. Yeah. On the uh, free days. On the free more days. More so than any other day. Because so many places are just like, there's just not enough workers. Yeah. And I know like Chipotle really feels it if they do a promotion. Mm-hmm. Um, they're just not set up to actually make it go well, smoothly. The difference is people, some people actually like Chipotle. So Aww. then on the free day, they'll go in. Not on this. But uh, for Subway, <laughs> I bet you it'll be, you know, it should be nice and quiet in I'll there. I'll drive by and let me see how... Uh, what the parking lot looks like. How uh, busy it is. Yeah. I don't know if I, uh, you know, I have a lunch here. I, so I don't know. That's already free. Yeah. So. But you got then your I could leftovers have still? Uh, no. I, I ate those. You ate those the, yesterday? Uh, the taco leftovers. Oh, it sounded oh, good. They were so Hudson, much better the second time. Hudson brought in a leftover taco bar. I did. I had. <laughs> you should have seen how many Tupperware containers I was walking in and out of here with yesterday. That's impressive. Yeah. Well, I looked. Uh, I don't even know what I looked like. Uh, I looked like I was catering is what it looked like, uh, but I wasn't. It was all just for me. I ate an, an exorbitant amount of food and uh, and at Subway, I could eat a whole six inch sub. And yeah, that, hopefully free. that would be enough. Well, if anyone tries anything today, let us know like how how it goes. Uh, but Subway's I feel like it's been off the lunch list for a bit, but eh, maybe it can make it back in. If it, Nikki, if it can't Fine. make it on free day, then it won't. it's not going to make it on a day where you have to pay for it. I'm just not shutting the door completely, all right? Uh, just leaving it the, as a possibility. The reviews might come in and it'll be like, oh, this menu refresh. Best, th- I mean, you, it'll have your head spinning how Best good this subway ever. is. Yeah. You, I mean, you take your Jimmy John's and you th- blast it out into outer space because you won't need that anymore. What's the other one? I'm Quiznos. Really, I've mentioned I'm totally into Jimmy John's right now. Uh-huh. And, uh, Jersey Mike's. That's the one I wanted to try. Is Jersey yeah. Mike's good or is it just, it's uh, all right. Is they, it just uh, okay? A lot of people like because they just have it on the menu, the a keto option if you just do the bowls. Yeah. Uh, so that's a positive if you are uh, doing low carb. I also like, uh, it's a little different, but Penn Station. Oh, is that good? Is one around here. A similar idea. They there. do a little more cheese steaky stuff which I do enjoy. So, uh, and they have really good fries, which if you're on keto, that doesn't help. But if you're not, the fries are pretty tasty. We're getting farther away from just subs yeah, now. All of a sudden, all these places I'd rather pay to 
Then eat at Subway for free to go to, then eat at Subway That's for free. That's just how it is. <laughs> this is The Riot. Radio U. Uh, <laughs> just yesterday, a, is that a warning? <laughs> yeah, let me uh, ask you about this. Yesterday, Isaiah was making his uh, his eggs in the break room after yeah. after the show, and I watched him. He gets his loaf of bread out, and the top piece of bread he noticed has mold in it. Sure. Uh, so if the top piece of bread has mold in it, what do you do? Uh, why well, did Isaiah, did you just throw that away and use other parts of the bread? Well, I went through each piece. There's only like five pieces left. Yeah. And I was like, well, the top piece is done, obviously. Maybe underneath we still have good ones in there. <laughs> if there's only five left, though, and like it's in the bag, you know, uh-huh. like the bread's like the mold is like sweating in there. Yeah. So, you know, it's around even what you think is the good pieces. Just because you can't see it. Doesn't yeah, mean it's not the same. If it's not green, then it's good to go. That's kind of how I, I, how, how I do it. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. If there's, <laughs> I, I didn't, it didn't shock me in the moment, but the more I thought about it, now that we're bringing up bread, because you're talking about going to buy bread, uh, I think that's a crazy way to do business. But you're if desperate, there's some, if you, I know, if but you want to have it, I'm also desperate to not eat mold. But I'm gonna <laughs> toast it though. Does that change no. it for you? Eh, no, just, does that I do anything extra doesn't. for you? I know that they say like, oh, it it heats some of it out. I think toasting though just toasts it into the bread more. Mm-hmm. No, it burns it off of there. I don't know. I make it a little extra crispy on the outsides, and I think too, you can look at a piece of bread and tell if it's good or not. Like, when you can tell if there's any discoloration, like, maybe not even just green, maybe, like, a little bit of a yellow tint. I saw a little bit of that on there, too. That's no good. But when you look at a piece of bread and you just see the whiteness, it's good to go. You should leave your bread in the fridge. It'll last way longer. I know. You've said or that. Or freeze it. We just don't have a lot of room in the fridge. Put the in fridge the freezer. Is, it's stocked up in there. I want my bread every day. I looked in there yesterday. When I saw it was moldy, I was real upset. Yeah. Aww. I mean, I understand the moment of of panic and desperation that you really were looking forward to your sandwich or whatever. But once there's one moldy piece of bread in the bunch, you think, you they're all throw bad? Them all. You think yeah, let's say it's a fresh new loaf and I've you've got one or two. Our uh, cupboards for some reason seem to they do. lend themselves they to do. moldy bread. Yes. yes. Okay. I'm glad I'm not alone in this because I've had fresh <laughs> loaves of bread that I bought that were nowhere near expired. Put them in here in the radio, you break room and all of a sudden, moldy after like two but days what are you closing the bags well enough yeah. oh i'm a stickler you give Does the bag have a hole it is uh i don't like to bring it up because uh there's some there's some hard feelings about it but i am uh in my household i mean but you better put the bread you better not fold the bag over on the bread you get the twisty <laughs> tie and you, you twist it, it up yeah you keep what that if you bread twist fresh. then fold but let's say you don't have the twisty no, tie. Uh uh-uh, uh no, you gotta find a twist tie. You gotta tie. find a twist tie. What some I what I can accept is, although it frustrates me, if the if you lose the twist tie. Which sometimes little, happens. Sometimes it happens. There's gotta be better ways, but and if all else fails, you can tie the bag in a knot. But the problem is in my house, people will uh will instead once you know, once you tie that knot, yeah. it's hard to untie. So, the rip so they'll it. rip a new hole. No! And then, that, then the bag is ruined. <laughs> then you've got to find a whole new container, a whole new vessel for I, the bread. I love it because you're like, what gets uh, Hudson mad? This. That's now we found a something. a lot of things, but this one I'm willing to talk about. <laughs> well, Jonathan texted and said, pretty much everything you eat has mold on it. Uh, you know, what you're yeah, but seeing. but you can't taste it. But what you're seeing you is the, see it. the mold getting out of control, technically. Mm-hmm. When it turns green, is that what that means? Yeah, like then now you know it's really growing. What even is mold, really? Is it really bad for you? Oh, I think it depends it'll make on you what s- kind. Some can really make you sick. Depends on yeah. what kind and how much. I think the the stuff that's on bread generally isn't harmful. But you have you tasted it though? I've never like, tasted it. Oh no. no, if you've had unsuspecting, have you? uh, I've definitely unsuspecting had cheese or bread that had mold on it. Yeah, and some t- because sometimes uh, whoever that was is right. You you can't see it, but there's mold that you can taste. Uh, that I've ex- I, like. You don't see it, and then you can taste the moldiness to it, uh, and that is not a good taste. You well, don't want that. Guys, this is what's going on in the break room. I mean, yeah. my goodness. We need to, bread. I think we need to get it fumigated or something <laughs> so we can store our bread safely again. Or just put it in the fridge, I guess. Or put it in the fridge. All we have in the fridge is like old Mountain Dew things. We could make <laughs> We have a lot of Mountain Dew in there. We have total room. We could totally get the bread in there. Dump those out <laughs> to get the bread in there. Keep it safe. Uh, coming up in a moment, the thing we we're actually going to talk about I've got a list of the best college towns in the country. We'll see if we agree. 
I bet, I'm betting we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching the worst of the riot. Since you made it this far, you might as well like, subscribe, and check out riot.radiou.com for even more, more riot. riot.